Hey there YouTube, today we're going to be unboxing the 4th generation iPod Touch along with giving a short little review. Also at the end of the video I will be announcing the next giveaway. It either will be the MSI GT660 or the Xbox 360 Slim 4 gig. Okay, so what we have here is the iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, and I also bought a screen protector and a cover, which is right here. Okay, so... Let's start with the unboxing of this iPod Touch. Uh, first we have this little paper over here, as you can see. Easily take this off. Maybe not so we oh, no, 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 it comes out. Yeah, let's see. Take, take it off. And boom, it's off. That right here. Okay, now we have the iPod box. Cover over here, the flip, iPod Touch, 32 gig. Okay, so now let's see, there should be a sticker right here. Yep, there we go. Okay, as you see over here, I'll show you guys there's a sticker, whatever. Just pull the shit, pull it off, and just tape it on the box, or whatever. And okay, now you can open it. So we open it, there it is. So this is kind of tricky, not really. I'll put the box down right now just to get out, get the iPod Touch out. So this is pretty easy to do. All you have to do really is just anything you need to do. Anything? Well, actually, you do. Wow, this is this is new. You have to like peel this off right here. I don't know why, but I guess it like just comes off. Like that, see, it's that was something new, something I didn't see in the previous generation boxing. This is like a screen protector, you would say. See, it's, it's attached to it. That's pretty cool. I guess it keeps it from getting dusty and everything. And it's this is on every generation, but as you see, I'm pulling it off. And oh, wow. Okay, so, so we have over here. It's the Brand new iPod Touch camera over there. Oh, hold on. Apple logo. Get a nice look at that, whatever. And uh, that's it. That's the iPod Touch. You got the volume button over here. Then we have the lock key over here. Lock unlock. The home button still there. Um, you see the connecting thing and the headphone jack. Okay, so we'll put the, we'll put this down for now. Let's see what sells in this box. What it comes with it. Okay, so we have the fingertips. This is just a guide for beginners who never had an iPod Touch. Um, I really had one for three years now, so I don't need that. This is the jack, the USB to the iPod jack, and this is the headphones. These headphones. Let me see. Yeah, they don't come with the mic, so these are just the cheap headphones without the mic. So that sucks, but it doesn't really matter since this iPod does have a built-in mic, which is what I've been waiting for for three years. I was waiting for a camera to be put on this iPod Touch and a mic, so it gives it more like an iPhone feel because I don't have an iPhone, so it'll be cool right now. But I'm just going to be using this iPod Touch for now as a temporary ca camera because my other camera broke. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll I'll shoot this up and I'll put I'll put videos of recordings on this iPod Touch and I'll also do a little short review when I connect because right now I need to connect this to the computer. So I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. I connected this computer as you can see now. Just let me turn it on for you guys. Um, sets the time. Uh, this new iPod Touch does have the Retina display, just like the iPhone 4, so that's pretty cool. It also has the A4 chip. Um, which is a lot faster than the previous iPod Touch. If you like to play games on your iPod Touch, everything would run smoother and look better. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little capturing of the camera, of the front-facing camera and the back camera to show you guys how the 720p looks on this and the, the front-facing camera for FaceTime or other kind, kinds of things. If you wanna use your front face camera to record yourself, you could do that. Oh, and one more thing. The camera is less than one megapixel, I believe, on both of them, which is kind of a downer. And I'm pretty sure on the fifth generation iPod Touch, they will add a flash and a more pixel camera. But right now, we're stuck with this. This is like the way Apple does it. They upgrade their products little by little every year, and people still buy them. 
I mean, look at me, I just got this. This is basically the same thing as my previous iPod Touch, just a little bit better, and I got it. Okay, so let me just record something really quickly, and I'll put this up. Alright guys, this is me recording myself on the iPod Touch 4th generation. As you can see, this is the front-facing camera that I'm using right now for FaceTime. Um, this is, uh, I guess, the graphics or whatever, the resolution you get up with this. It's not HD. This is like, I think, 460 to 600 or something like that, pixels. Uh, you guys can see outside where it's bright, see how that looks through my window. Okay. It's, uh, it doesn't shake that much, so it's, it's pretty good. Let me switch the cameras now to the other side. Alright guys, this is me shooting on the back 720p camera. As you can see over here, if you tap the screen on the iPod Touch, it will adjust the lighting. For dark areas, it will make it brighter. For bright areas, it will make it darker so you can see them. Um, other than that, it's not that bad. All I would say is if you shake it, it's kind of, it, it's really it, like it gets shaky and it's distorted. So you would have to hold it still if you want to record something, if you're running with this. It would and you're trying to make a video it would look really bad so you would have to have a steady hand if you want to make like a video with this iPod touch but other than that the video looks pretty good alright guys so that was the review for the brand new iPod touch fourth generation I'll be using this also to record the comparison video between this MacBook Pro and my friend's MSI GT 660 so now I wanna I wanna talk about the next giveaway as I asked you guys before I had a debate I couldn't decide on which one to give away and I asked you guys to comment, so you guys did, and the winning product was the MSI GT660. So I would say next Thursday to Monday, we'll be, I'll be putting a video up of the giveaway to see if I could get it. If I do get it, I will give it away. If I can't get it, I'll definitely give away the Xbox 360 Slim. But I have a good feeling that I'll get the MSI GT660. So stay tuned for that. If you like this iPod Touch review and you want me to do more reviews like on the iPad in the future, please comment and I'll try to do that. I will start doing separate playlists where I'll put unboxing videos, reviews, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Stay tuned for the giveaway and I'll put up the comparison for my MacBook Pro and the MSI GT660 on Thursday. So make sure to check that out. And have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys later.